Hi guys, are you making the most of your network video recorder's capabilities? Today in this video, I'm going to provide you with a comprehensive guide on how to effectively use the dual network ports on your NVR. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. Network Video Recorder, aka the NVR, is a crucial component in modern video surveillance systems. It serves as the central hub for recording, managing, and storing video footage from IP cameras. Unlike the traditional analog-based DVR, the NVR are designed specifically for IP cameras, and which are connected to the network and offer various advanced features to enhance the functionality and effectiveness of video surveillance system. So it's perfect for homes, businesses, and public spaces. So now let's move on to the next scene where we're using this 32 channel dual port and VR to connect with multiple IP cameras. So today I'm going to connect to this PTZ camera and the 4K IP camera using this dual next NVR. Now, Dual Nex stands for Dual Network Interface Card. It refers to having two separate networks or connections on one device. And each NEC serves as a gateway between device and a network, allowing for communication and data transfer. So let me put it in a simple way. Think of a computer with two Ethernet ports instead of one. And with dual NICs, you can connect the computer to two different networks simultaneously and utilize them for different purposes. So why do we need the dual NICs? And here's a few examples of the dual NIC usage. First, load balancing. The network traffic is distributed between two NICs and ensuring efficient use of available bandwidth and preventing congestion. Second, network redundancy. Dual NECs provide network redundancy, where one NEC serves as the primary connection and the other one can serve as a backup and ensuring uninterrupted connectivity. Most important is the network segmentation. You can separate the network traffic based on different purpose and security requirements. So one net can be dedicated to a private network, while the other one is connected to a public network. So they can't see each other but working at the same time. So this is the 32 channel NVR that we're using for the connection. By adding this device can provide high definition video data storage and reliable central management for multiple IP cameras. It has real-time monitoring, smart playback, and instant notification offer an effective enhancement. Also can connect up to 32 IP cameras. Compatibility for variants on with compliance AF and AT standard IP cameras. Now let's do the connection together. So we can see the dual NICs. First, I'm going to connect this one to our public network, which is the network router. And I'm going to use a separate ethernet cable to connect the other NIC to our WebSmart PoE switch. And this is where we're going to connect to all the IP cameras. Let's plug in two ethernet cable for the two cameras. So let's come over to the edge. We have the PTZ and the 4K IP camera. I'm going to connect it through a single ethernet cable and provide the data and the power at the same time. So let's see, the video should come up shortly. Let's give it a little bit of time. Here we go. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So now I'm going to show you we are using the dual NICs with two networks. Let's come over here to the main menu under system. We have the network. We can see the two NICs with different IP address. This is the first one, and we have the second one. And even though we unplugged the network first one, it will not affect our IP cameras. 
because you can see our camera is still running. Hi, Natisha. So I've finished the whole setup and show you the dual necks on the MVR. If your MVR does not have the dual necks but you want to separate your network, you can use the VLAN feature on the WebSmart PoE switch for the segmentation. Now let's talk about other factors to look into when selecting an MVR. You should consider about the number of channels, recording resolution and capacity, and last but not least, the network compatibility and integration. You should choose an on with compatible device and check if the NVR can integrate well with other security system or software. Now this is the video about the explain and use on with in IP camera system setup. And thank you very much for watching.